Hey guys, welcome to Brew Review. I'm Brady. And I'm Corey. And today, we have a special Goza. Batch number 20 from nowhere in particular. This beer will never be made again. It's like that. It's one and done. Now, like most American Gozas, we find that they're pretty, usually it's like salty and limey. Yeah, there's a, and, there's a bit of lime and salt. And according to their label, I mean, it's, that's, that's what it is. This one in particular has got some blackberries in it. As far as their label is concerned, it's got this really high contrast look with the green on it. It really sticks out. It's got some cool trains at the top. It's got the skull on it. Oh, he's traveling. He's got the little knapsack like Johnny Appleseed. It's just, I mean, you can't even see through this thing. This is like petite Syrah dark. Well, here's the thing. It's got blackberry in it and it looks like blackberry. Almost has like this dark cherry cola color. On the, on the nose though, I'm getting a, almost like a mead smell. Um, something you get from something from like shrams. Wow, it's punchy. It's got highs, it's got lows. It's very complex, almost like a, uh, a nice cobbler. But then when, you're, when, it, when you taste it, it's almost, it almost dissipates very quickly. I could see cobbler. Yeah. Absolutely, like a blackberry cobbler. If you squeeze lime all over it, I get the lime on the on the palate though. Lime, slight blackberry. I, got, I feel that acid in the back of my throat, like at the bottom of my throat. Mm -hmm. It's really, hit, it's striking hard. This, this to me almost drinks more like a fruit wine than it does a beer. I, I kind of agree with you on that. Like the way it feels on the mouth, man, that, that tartness kind of lingers. Yeah, mouth, mouth feel is very, it's very interesting. It's, it's super acidic, but, but it dissipates and then you're left with this heavy weight of, of the berry. Firmly believe you can you can literally taste or smell every ingredient that's in here. As far as gozas go, I, I, if I'm rating on, on a goza scale, as far as the gozas that I've had, it's a 3.9. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. I'm gonna go with a 4.25. I think I still like that evil twin goza that I had. The geyser goza? The geyser goza. I think I still yeah. like the geyser goza more than this. I think it's a bit more refreshing. But it, they're, they're, to me, they're two different things. This is, I was this just is more say, like a dessert rich. I just the geyser goza is, is, is very much, you know, very acidic and bright. And yeah. this, to me, drinks almost more like a like a nice tart cherry wine, almost like a Frederick stall. I haven't had that before, so I'm going to have to take your word on that. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for uh, tuning in. Nowhere in particular, batch number 20. Definitely check out everything that they do. Very unique stuff coming from them. Every batch is a one-off. So if you liked what you saw, definitely hit the like button. Give us a subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, at Brew Review. Until next time. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Cheers. Cheers.